best known for her role as Elaine O'Connor Nardo on the popular sitcom Taxi and for numerous co-starring roles in movies like Cannonball Run 2, Lady Killers, and L.A. Story, actress Mary Lou Henner has been bestowed with a unique genetic gift. While many people have fairly sharp memories, Henner is one of just a handful of people who have been confirmed to have what's been dubbed as highly superior autobiographical memory. Join us as we take a deep dive into Mary Lou's profoundly fascinating condition. Facts First presents Mary Lou Henner shares the secrets of her rare diagnosis. Henner's gift is almost uncanny. Just give her any random date and she can recall it with astonishing clarity. For example, when asked about April 30th, 1980, Henner, without any hesitation, said it not only was a Wednesday, but she also spent the day in Cancun with her boyfriend and soon-to-be first husband. If that's not impressive enough, Henner further remembers wearing a cream-colored jumpsuit, harem pants, and a strapless top with a turquoise jacket. And as far as the day's activities, she claims to have drank tequila for the first time, something she didn't do again for 25 years. Now, you might be already beyond impressed, but Henner further gave reason for us to marvel by describing the weather as being beautiful that evening. The following day, apparently there was a downpour of rain, and the plumbing at the resort she and her boyfriend were staying at went out. Describing her powers in terms that are more relatable, Henner has said her ability is akin to how most of us are able to remember basic things like our eye color, addresses, or phone numbers. But instead of being limited to those, she's able to recall basically everything with the same degree of ease. For the majority of people, vivid memories like these are usually only associated with significant life events like when their child was born or wedding days. Likewise, traumatic events are often permanently fixed in people's memories too. Our memories tend to present themselves like impressionist paintings. While we might not be able to recall the tiny little details, we do normally remember the broad strokes. But that's not what Mary Lou Henner has experienced. She's able to recall most of her life's details in almost photographic detail. Her condition, Highly Superior Autobiographical Memory, or HSAM, is very uncommon. In fact, fewer than 100 people have been documented as having it. This exceedingly rare condition allows people to recall events from most of the days that they've lived with remarkable accuracy and detail. It was first described in 2006 by a doctor named James McGaw, who serves as the founding chair of the Department of Neurobiology and Behavior at the University of California, Irvine. Henner's memory has always been sharp. In an interview published in the magazine Brain and Life, Henner said that even when she was as young as five, people were already asking her parents what was up with her memory. After visiting her family's home, visitors would be amazed by Henner's ability to recall precisely the last time they were there and everything that had happened. Her extraordinary abilities led to her earning the nicknames Little Miss Memory, The Memory Kid, and Univac, the latter of which was a reference to a popular line of computers. Whenever someone in her family wanted to know when something happened, they asked her. While Henner admits that everyone was very smart and had reasonably good memories in her family, they all knew there was something exceptional about hers. As one of six children, Henner's profoundly specific memory made her stand out from the rest of the pack. And for that, she was quite grateful. Henner didn't know what made her special for decades. The first person to be diagnosed with HSAM was a woman named Jill Price. In 2000, Price found Dr. McGaw's name online and emailed him. In the email, she described how whenever she would see a date flash on the TV screen or anywhere else, she would automatically go back to that day in her mind and remember all the details about it. After Dr. McGaw and several of his colleagues worked with Price for six years, they published a piece in the neuropsychology journal Neurocase in February of 2006 called A Case of Unusual Autobiographical Remembering. Not long after the article was published, a producer at 60 Minutes heard about the doctor's research and proposed running a story to Leslie Stahl, one of the show's correspondents. Stahl, however, wasn't all that impressed by it and told the producer she didn't think the condition was all that uncommon, since her friend Mary Lou Henner possessed the same kind of memory. To make her point, Stahl took the producer and Henner out to lunch. While they ate, the producer mentioned that they had been married on June 15, 1998. Mary Lou Henner interjected, asking why they had gotten married on a Monday. That's when the producer realized that she did, in fact, have HSAM. Three years later, Henner learned that the condition was, in fact, quite rare. Dr. McGaw had put out word he was in search of more people like Henner and Price, and at that time, only about a dozen or so had come forward. 
Around that time, Henner and four other people with HSAM appeared on a segment for 60 Minutes in which she underwent an MRI brain scan, answered a bunch of questions, and shared detailed stories that showed off her memory prowess. After that appearance, Henner worked as a consultant for the TV series Unforgettable, which was about a police detective with HSAM named Poppy Montgomery who used her detailed memory to help crack cases. HSAM helps Henner in many surprising ways. Naturally, one of the first questions that Henner gets asked by curious parties is whether her memory helps her remember her lines. Although clearly her unique ability comes in handy in that way, she says it's even better for enriching her characters. Henner claims that it's what's behind her lines that makes the most profound difference in her performances. Since she's able to recall all of her life's experiences in vivid detail, she can channel those memories directly into her roles, enriching them in ways other actors can't. As such, whenever people approach her and say they suspect a friend or relative has the condition, her knee-jerk reaction is to tell them to enroll in an acting class. Henner's memory has also helped her out a lot in school. She claims the biggest reason she did so well academically was the fact that she was one of six kids, all of whom were exceptionally smart. As they say, iron sharpens iron. For some people with HSAM, the condition can be quite frustrating and understandably overwhelming. For instance, Jill Price told Dr. McGaw that her experience was nonstop, uncontrollable, and exhausting. Fortunately, Henner says she finds great joy in her memory and considers it a gift. She says that people frequently inquire whether it's hard for her to remember all of the bad things that have happened. While that seems like a reasonable and well-intentioned question, Henner replies by saying that most people are going to remember all their bad memories anyway. In her case, however, she's able to cushion all of those negative memories with the abundance of happy ones that she has. She wants to help others improve their memories. Knowing that the vast majority of people aren't gifted with her phenomenal memory, Henner does have a few tips for ordinary people looking to improve their memories. Her first tip is to explore what she calls your primary track. This entails focusing on the things that we remember better than other things in life. For example, if your most vibrant memories are attached to travel, that's what you should focus on while trying to fill in the surrounding blanks. After that, Henner says we should try to use our senses to help us recall more minor details. As you might know, scent is one of the strongest memory inducers. Another way Henner says we can all improve our memories is by feeding your body with healthy foods like fruits, vegetables, and legumes. If it's good for your body, it's good for your mind. So cut out the junk food, stay hydrated, and try to prioritize your health. Henner's next tip is to try to best sear in our memories by constantly taking note of the little sensory details in our lives. As we go about our day, take moments to pause and really pay attention to what we're hearing, seeing, smelling, and experiencing. At the end of the day, run through your memory like a montage to try to hold on to as many details as you can. Last but not least, Hannah recommends getting yourself a memory buddy, someone close to you that you can bounce memories off of. With your memory buddy, you can reflect on shared experiences while doing your best to fill in gaps in each other's memories. Now it's time to hear from you. Did you know Mary Lou Henner has a photographic memory that allows her to recall nearly every detail of her life? Let us know in the comments section below.